Hey y'all, I got a quick message for y'all. And I had got this message actually yesterday. And God always gives me little messages and speaks to me, you know, when I'm working or whatever. And um, a message came into me and the Lord was practically just letting me know that, you know, they are waiting on you. And if just by me saying that kind of already made you kind of feel some type of way, just listen, honey, because they are waiting on you. There is someone right now who is waiting on you to make the first move. There is someone right now who is waiting on you to step out. Okay, to let your light shine. There is someone who is waiting on you right now to tell your testimony, to listen to what you have to say. I know you may have been the person who never felt heard. Okay, you may have been the person who always felt invisible. You felt like you didn't have a voice, okay, because that was me. I'm one of those people. You may have been the person who, you know, just just loves and enjoys being alone who who loves being to themselves a lot doesn't really care too much to have many friends okay you always was the person who was afraid to face those types of fears in your life because you had battled with that voice that always told you that no one's not going to ever listen you know you always heard that voice of maybe telling you to shut up or you know, it just could really be anything or just not to speak. You always felt silent, but I'm here to tell you right now that there is someone right now that is waiting on you, okay? They're waiting on you, and it takes your voice, okay? It takes your voice to help bless the lives of others because there is someone right now that may be going through the same thing that you're going through, battling with the same thing you're battling with, struggling with the same things you're struggling with. Because I'm going to tell you, honey, my life has not always been perfect, okay? I am not perfect whatsoever, okay? Some days I still fall short. I'm not the best person, you know? I go through things too, okay? And I'm just here to let you know that it's time for you to face those fears and to step out, okay, of that dark place because that's only just going to eat you up. It's going to hold you back. And then you may grow up years from now, getting older and older and older and look back and be like, hey, I wish I could have did that. Do it now, okay? I know it's hard. I know sometimes it gets a little scary. But, you know, at some point in life, you know, Nothing's not going to ever happen if you don't make the first jump, if you don't make the first move. And you're not only doing it alone because God is with you throughout the process. He told each and every one of us that he will not leave nor forsaken us, okay? And forsaken means he will not abandon us. He will not leave us or give us too much that he knows that we can't bear. He's not going to leave us alone. He's going to be right there with us through it all, okay? And... I know what helps me push forward and push through in times of facing my fears is honestly, y'all, it'd be a lot of things that I'd be scared to do. But you know, the one thing to how you conquer that fear is that you do it anyway. If there's something that you want to do so bad and you find it hard to do, the only way you're going to face that fear is to do it anyway. Okay? So... Try your best to work on that. Prepare yourself for those types of things because I'm telling you, there is someone right now who is waiting on you and this is your moment to shine. This is your moment to step out, okay? And once you do, it's on up from there, okay? Because you just unlock that new door to your new beginning, okay? And who doesn't love new beginnings, okay? Because it's about to be great, okay? And like I told y'all, you about to blow up. So you better get ready and be prepared for this moment when it come. Because it's going to come. And like the Lord say, <laughs> he going to come like a mighty rushing wind. So you better get ready. Okay? Get ready. All right? Because they're waiting on you. So y'all, family, just 
know that the Lord is with you. And here's a quick scripture that also has helped me throughout times of me doing my meditation and spending time with God and reading the word. And um, this scripture came across me too as I was in the process of trying to like face fears and step out a bit because there was a lot of things that I was afraid to do. But God is blessing me to face and step out and conquer those fears. And I ran across Isaiah 41 10 where he says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Okay? And if you want to look back over that, go read it in the Bible, Isaiah 41 10. That scripture has been a tremendous blessing to me. It's helped me in so many ways. And still to this day, when I'm still trying to overcome things and face things. And, um, yeah, so I just want to let you know that, guys, to just trust the process. God is with you, okay? They're waiting on you to make this move. So just get ready. Stay ready, okay? What do you say? Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Right.